How to create EVM wallet address on MetaMask. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create EVM wallet address on MetaMask. So let's get started. First of all, you need to download the application of MetaMask on your mobile device, or you can even get the Chrome extension on PC. So once you've clicked on your MetaMask account and logged in, you'll be able to see an interface like this in front of you. So what you're going to do is click on this compass icon at the bottom right. So once you click on that, you'll be able to see something like this in front of you. And here you'll be able to see a search icon. So just click on it. And here you need to type down a URL. You can search or type URL. So search for core DAO dot o r g c o r e core d a o dot o r g and click on go after that it will take a few seconds to load you to the interface of cordao.org and once it gets loaded you'll be able to see something like this in front of you so what you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page keep on scrolling down till you reach the bottom and here is the bottom where you can see the developers ecosystem community tools and here at the bottom you'll be able to see add core network so what you're going to do is click on add core network and once you click on that you'll be able to see something like this in front of you so all you have to do is just click on confirm and once you click on confirm you'll be able to see something like this that says you have switched to core DAO, and you can read this about the things to keep in mind that the native token on this network is core it is a token used for gas fees if you attempt to send assets directly from one network to another this may result in permanent asset loss and your tokens may not automatically show up in your wallet so after that you can just uh, either click on learn more or you can add them manually and click on got it and that is how basically you can add evm address to your metamask if you found this tutorial helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials see you in the next video